scientists are using the new, powerful James Webb Space Telescope to search for signs of life on the exoplanet Proxima b. This telescope, the most advanced and sensitive space observatory ever created, represents a major leap forward in our ability to explore the universe. Its capacity to capture faint signals and light emissions from distant celestial bodies allows researchers to look deeper into space than ever before. These lights may be the final piece of evidence needed to prove that this planet is populated by aliens. The idea that intelligent life might exist outside Earth has fascinated both scientists and the general public for decades. Now, with the capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, this long-standing question is closer than ever to being answered. There is a probability that a moon or planet in space contains life because there are more than a quadrillion planets in just our galaxy. This staggering number opens the door to the possibility that countless other worlds, each with its unique characteristics and environments, could be home to organisms of various kinds, from simple microbes to advanced civilizations. In other words, technologically superior alien life may already be present there. If intelligent beings have evolved under different conditions and perhaps more favorable ones, they could be far ahead of us in terms of science, technology, and communication methods. There has been a long-standing human interest in the possibility of life beyond Earth. However, a planet very similar to Earth in size and proximity was recently discovered, and it may hold the key to solving all of our questions. This planet, known as Proxima b, has sparked renewed enthusiasm among scientists and astronomers, mainly because it resides within the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. The James Webb Telescope will be able to answer many of them. The telescope's instruments are capable of measuring the chemical makeup of distant planets' atmospheres, allowing scientists to detect gases such as oxygen, methane, and water vapor, each of which could indicate biological activity. The first step in learning about Proxima b is defining an exoplanet, which refers to planets discovered beyond the solar system. These exoplanets, which orbit stars other than our Sun, are found through methods that detect their slight gravitational tug on their host stars or the way they dim a star's light when they pass in front of it. These planets' motions and identities are currently completely mysterious. We know little about their climates, surfaces, or potential for life. Before the creation of the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists lacked a reliable tool to look for them. As a result, they resorted to using a wide range of techniques, including transit photometry and Doppler spectroscopy. These methods helped us find thousands of exoplanets, but they provided limited information. Proxima b is 4.24 light years away, making it one of the nearest known exoplanets to Earth. Its proximity makes it an ideal target for study, especially considering that many potentially habitable exoplanets are much farther away and out of reach with our current technology. The nearest star to the Sun, Proxima Centauri, orbits the companion star Proxima b. It is part of a three-star system called Alpha Centauri, with Proxima Centauri being the closest member. The 2016 discovery of Proxima b, a planet in the habitable zone of its star, has led scientists to this conclusion. This means that liquid water could theoretically exist on its surface, increasing the possibility of life. These exoplanets, including Proxima b, may currently be hiding alien life, but finding them is extremely difficult. Technological and observational limitations challenge every step of the process. What sets this exoplanet apart from the billions of others in the galaxy? Unlike many other discovered exoplanets, Proxima b has characteristics that mirror Earth's. The scientists were stunned by the artificial light emanating from Proxima b. The possibility that the light is not natural opens up intriguing questions. They started to consider the possibility that there's intelligent life on the planet's night side and that this civilization might be more technologically advanced than our own. Could they be using artificial lighting to illuminate their cities, roads, or even the planet's surface for solar energy capture? How will they be able to research an exoplanet that is both distant and difficult to locate? Sophisticated observational tools, long-term data gathering, and new theoretical models are essential for making sense of what we find. Most of you already know this, but here's a little primer on the James Webb Telescope that makes this feasible. It was launched by NASA in collaboration with ESA and the Canadian Space Agency. 
as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. This telescope's principal benefit is its capacity to see through dust clouds using enormous mirrors with gold coatings, making it the largest and most powerful telescope ever built. These mirrors are designed to maximize infrared light detection, crucial for studying distant and faint objects. When infrared light is reflected off these mirrors, it will form an image that is beyond our comprehension. It allows astronomers to peer into star-forming regions, distant galaxies, and planetary atmospheres with unmatched clarity. Among the first exoplanets the James Webb Space Telescope will study is Proxima b, as it offers the best potential for detecting extraterrestrial life. A planet needs to have conditions similar to Earth before life can thrive there. Scientists refer to this as being in the Goldilocks zone, not too hot, not too cold, but just right for water to remain liquid. Let's start by contrasting Earth with Proxima b to learn more about its remarkable qualities. The mass of Proxima b is 1.27 times that of Earth. This means its gravity would be slightly stronger, which could affect everything from atmosphere retention to how creatures might evolve there. While our Sun is 93 million miles away, the star of Proxima b is only 4.6 million miles away. Yet because its star is dimmer than our Sun, it doesn't get overheated. Despite being 5% farther from the Sun than Earth, Proxima b is widely regarded as habitable by scientists. Despite the fact that Proxima Centauri is 44,000 times fainter than the Sun, scientists believe that water could exist on the surface of Proxima b within its habitable zone, inferring the presence of land forms like mountains. The distance between Earth and Proxima b is 4.24 light years. Though that's enormous by earthly standards, in space terms, it's practically next door. Despite how far it seems from Earth, it's actually only a short distance away in cosmic terms. At this time, Proxima b is tidally locked and moves in sync with the rest of the solar system. To put it plainly, there is always light on one side of Proxima b and total darkness on the other. This affects climate, weather patterns, and even how life might adapt. When viewed from Earth, the movement resembles that of the Moon. Scientists are making great efforts to detect any artificial light emanating from the surface of Proxima b as part of their research on the possibility of extraterrestrial life on the planet. One of these scientists is Avi Loeb, an astronomer from Harvard University, who claimed that both the sunlit and dark sides of Proxima b can be illuminated by man-made light. This theory has sparked controversy, but is being taken seriously due to Loeb's track record in astrophysics. The light curves of the planet and its star on the night side will be calculated with the help of the James Webb Telescope. This will help distinguish between natural and artificial light signatures. Bright beings who have always been hidden from view. Don't you think they'd stop noticing after a while? Many animals on Earth are known to have the ability to see in total darkness. Owls, deep-sea creatures, and other nocturnal species offer parallels for theorizing how alien life might function. Since this is the only association we have with artificial light, they may just be terrestrial animals. Another issue is the high levels of X-ray and UV radiation that reach the bright side of Proxima b. This radiation can be deadly, but if the planet has a magnetic field or atmosphere, it might provide shielding. Consequently, the probability of habitability plummets. However, the chances that there is life there are increasing. This ongoing research into Proxima b not only excites the scientific community, but also captures the imagination of the general public, who have long been fascinated by the possibility of contact with extraterrestrial life. The dream of finding life elsewhere in the universe is deeply ingrained in our culture, literature, films, and aspirations. Proxima b, with all its compelling features, represents a realistic target for exploring that possibility. The fact that this exoplanet is located in the habitable zone, maintains a rocky surface, and shows signs that it could support water makes it stand out among the thousands of discovered exoplanets. It is often described as a second Earth due to its similarities, although key environmental differences remain. Scientists believe that the James Webb Space Telescope can reveal whether Proxima b has an atmosphere and what elements it might contain, a step crucial to determining its potential to host life. Atmospheric analysis is one of the strongest indicators we have in the search for life, as certain chemical imbalances, such as the coexistence of oxygen and methane, can suggest biological activity. 
In Earth's atmosphere, for instance, oxygen exists in large amounts largely because of photosynthetic organisms. Detecting such biosignatures elsewhere could imply a similar process is occurring. While the exact nature of any life on Proxima b is unknown, even finding the potential for habitability would be a groundbreaking achievement. However, this task is not without its challenges. Because Proxima b is tidally locked, the permanent light and dark sides may create extreme temperature differences, possibly affecting atmospheric circulation, ocean currents, and surface conditions. Still, theorists suggest that life might adapt in the twilight zone, the area between day and night, where temperatures are more moderate. Furthermore, scientists are examining how Proxima b's magnetic field might influence its ability to retain an atmosphere. A strong magnetic field, like Earth's, deflects solar winds and cosmic radiation, protecting the planet's surface and preserving its atmosphere. If Proxima b lacks such a field, its atmosphere could be stripped away over time, reducing habitability. This concern is especially relevant since Proxima Centauri emits strong stellar flares and radiation bursts, which could harm unprotected surfaces. Nevertheless, there's a growing belief that even under such conditions, microbial or extremophile life, like the organisms that survive in Earth's harshest environments, might persist. The existence of deep-sea thermal vent communities, acid-loving microbes, and radiation-resistant bacteria on Earth has shifted our understanding of where and how life can survive. Efforts to study Proxima b are not limited to telescopes. As previously mentioned, the Breakthrough Starshot Initiative aims to send a lightweight nanocraft traveling at 20% the speed of light toward the Proxima Centauri system. At that speed, the spacecraft could reach Proxima b in just over 20 years. Though it would not carry humans, it would be equipped with sensors and cameras capable of capturing data and images that could be transmitted back to Earth. This mission, if successful, would mark humanity's first interstellar journey. It also reflects a broader shift toward exploring space using miniaturized, efficient, and high-speed technologies, as traditional rocket-based missions remain far too slow for nearby star systems. Meanwhile, astronomers continue using Earth-based instruments like the Atacama Large Millimeter-Submillimeter Array, ALMA, and the Very Large Telescope, VLT, to complement what space telescopes observe. Each observation brings us closer to understanding Proxima b's composition, rotation, orbital dynamics, and potential for moons or rings. Additionally, the curious radio signal detected from the direction of Proxima b, though still unconfirmed as being artificial, has heightened interest. The signal's narrowband frequency, something not usually produced by natural phenomena, makes it a candidate for further investigation by SETI scientists. Public engagement with this mission is also vital. Through documentaries, social media, classroom activities, and simulation games, the story of Proxima B inspires future generations of scientists and space enthusiasts. Educators are integrating exoplanet studies into science curricula, and citizen science projects now allow individuals to contribute to the search by examining telescope data for anomalies. The idea that intelligent life could exist and might even be observing us from Proxima B is no longer considered mere science fiction. It's a hypothesis grounded in data, technology, and scientific curiosity. The James Webb Space Telescope, as the centerpiece of this research, continues to surpass expectations. Its ability to observe the earliest galaxies, penetrate cosmic dust, and reveal the chemistry of distant atmospheres gives it a critical role in modern astrophysics. With its infrared vision, it allows us